Welcome to the Ecamm channel again, this is Xue Hang. In this tutorial video, we will talk more about electrical double layer capacitor, which is one kind of the supercapacitor. So in our tutorial one, we briefly discussed the differences between three types of the electrical energy storage devices, the electrical double layer capacitor, pseudocapacitor, and battery. And we know that supercapacitors have high power density, and low energy density. Except for high power density, the supercapacitor also shows long cycling life and good safety. There are two types of supercapacitor, the electrical double layer capacitor or EDLC and the pseudocapacitor. In this tutorial, we will focus on the EDLC. An EDLC store charges or the energy as the electrolyte ions are sold to the surface of the electrode and form the electrical double layer. The process is completely non ferroidic and very reversible. That is the reason why the charge storage capability is low, but the cycling life is long for EDLC. The most widely used electro material for EDLC is various carbon material, such as activated carbon, graphene, and carbon nanotube. That is because those materials always have a high specific surface area. The capacitance of capacitor equal to epsilon A over D. It means the permeativity multiplied the surface area divided by the thickness of the double layer. So a higher surface area means higher capacitance. For now, the surface area of activated carbon can be as high as 4000 square meter per gram. However, there is a limitation of the surface area, and still the energy storage capability of a supercapacitor is still far lower than battery. Then how can we improve the capacitance? In 2006, Gogolsi Group finds that the pore size of the material plays a key role in determining the capacitance. They find that the capacitance increases dramatically when the pore size is less than 1 nanometer. That is because smaller pore size remove the solvation shell of the ions, reduce the effective ion size, and then increase the number of ions that can absorb it per surface area. So the normalized capacitance per surface area or the number of ions absorbed per surface area increases in the narrow pores when the pore size is smaller than the size of the solvated ions. There are three types of electrolyte aqueous electrolyte, organic electrolyte, and ionic liquids. We will introduce more about the differences between these three types of electrolyte in the tutorial in the future. For here, let's look at the ionic liquid. Ionic liquid is composed of pure ions, no solvent. For example, here, the cation is S-O-methylimidazolium, and the TFSI is is chief lower methyl sulfonyl amide, which is the anion here. When using ionic liquid, because there is no solvents, they can be charged to a relatively large voltage window, and their particular attracted attention because the energy density is usually higher in the ionic liquid. Pore size was found to have strong impact on the capacitance again in the ionic liquid electrolyte. But this time, we cannot explain it with dissolvation. And here, our maximum normalized capacitance was achieved when the pore size matches the ion size. For example, here it's uh, around 0.7 nanometer, which is the ion size of the imidazolium and also the TFSI anion. In 2016, we developed an interest mathematic model, the ion packing model and explain why the capacitance increase when the pore size is smaller than 1 nanometer in the ionic liquid. So if we compare the schematic A and B, the utilization of the ions of the pore increase if the pore size decreases. Further, we derive an expression for the ion packing model and find that the capacitance should be an integral of the pore size distribution and how the ions packed in different pores. When the ion size is settled to be 0 0.75, 0 0.85, and 0 0.97 nanometer, we can plot the shape of the ion packing model, the gravimetric capacitance, as a function of the relative pore size to the ion size. We find in this curve, there are actually two capacitance favorable regions, one in the micropores region, which is similar to this early study, 
Another one is in the mesopars region. There is one capacitance detrimental region in which the pore with such pore size is to lower capacitance. Thank you for watching the video today. See you next time.